Hello there, I am Johnny Growth from Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on uh, Team Galactic Commanders Mars and San Saturn, not, not Mars and Saturn, Mars and Jupiter, and yet in, in a double battle format, but um, it's still like a rematch. Them, uh, Sim came to double battle with us to help us in the double battle. It's kind of fun. Uh, we, we didn't have too much trouble actually, and then we fought Cyrus because he got mad that the three like Pokemon came and, you know, um, calmed down Dialga or stopped its powers from, like, you know, destroying the world or whatever. Or Sinnoh, at least. So yeah, he was, and then he just left, and all Team Galactic just left. And then uh, Professor Rowan and Dawn came onto the scene, and then told me that they believe in me, and that I should just stop and battle uh, Dialga to calm it down. After what Team Galactic did with the, with, with the witch with the red chain. Once you step a couple steps close to it like that, it automatically will walk you towards um, Dialga, and I'll say grab. <laughs> Whatever. I, I miss probably miss with that, but it's some kind of weird screech. Yeah, this is some great music too. So I'm filming at night. So um, yeah, I'm Dusk Balls. Are really, gonna be my friend here. Um, this Dialga. It's about any play through this game. It has the same catch rate of as like a Chansey, and I think Palkia has the same catch rate as a Chata. So it's not like really impossible. Like it's a three catch rate, but it's very low. No, it's different this time around in Diamond Pro and Platinum. So I'm gonna start with a flamethrower. See how much that does. So, um, it's Dragon Steel type, so it's actually, this will do, um, neutral damage on it, actually, so that's good. So, I'm gonna just start with that. Let's get some medical on this, okay. Cool. It knows this move called Roar of Time, and that's a really powerful, um, you know, Dragon type move, I guess. I don't know if it's Dragon type move or Normal type. I'm not really sure. But, yeah, just keep in mind, and keep, watch out for it, because it's very powerful. This thing's level 47. So it's probably going to be a little bit higher than your Pokemon's in your party, compared to their levels. It's going to be an ancient power now, okay. This will be super effective, I think. It's neutral effective, actually, because I'm half fighting type, half fire. Let's use another uh, flamethrower. I guess that's all I'm gonna do for right now. It's gonna be allergies in rough time now. Okay, then watch out. This one's gonna hurt. This move's gonna hurt Inferno a lot. Probably knock it out. Yeah. Well, Inferno did his job. He was just trying to weaken the Pokemon. Now, luckily, this Pokemon doesn't know any restoring moves like Recover or anything like Mino Mewtwo had in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red and Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. So, um. I'm gonna switch to. I'll switch to Bronze because he might be a good tank for this. I don't have any status conditioning moves so like paralyze it or uh, anything like that put it to sleep. I don't really recommend you burn this thing on purpose or poison it because it will slow really down with HP. Plus, uh, I guess Dalga being half steel type, uh, poison type moves like toxic won't even affect it at all. So I'm going to see if I can catch this in one dusk ball because I've been able to do that before. So let's see if I can do it now. Let's see. The moment of truth everyone. Ah, uh, I didn't even shake once. Are you kidding me? Didn't even check once that much for charge. Okay, let's another dusk ball. I only bought four of them, so I'm um, gonna uh, hopefully we can catch one in one of these four dusk balls that I have. So let's see. Oh, it's not even checking once. What the heck? We're at night time, bro. It's night time. Okay, ancient power. I should uh, bronze ship and uh, tank this thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, crit quite. Okay, good. I thought it was like a uh, more and more effectiveness, but that was just crit quite. Okay. I have one more um, dusk ball after this one, so basically just one left after this. I wanted to shake at least once. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. It, it, it's that easy to catch Dialga in a dusk ball if it's nighttime. I mean, it's just so easy. It's just what the heck, man. I mean, you make it a little bit more challenging, honestly. Okay, so it has the power to control time. It appears to the, it appears in center region myths um, as an ancient entity. It's uh, it, its height is 17 feet 9 inches. Wow, that's a big, that's a tall Pokemon. And it weighs 1,505.8 pounds. It's steel dragon type. It's, it's um, pretty much like a crown, really. It's a temporal Pokemon. It's number 149 in the Pokedex, for the Sinnoh decks at least. And it's Dialga. There we go. That looks pretty cool. Um, give a nickname to Dialga. Sure, I'll give a nickname to Dialga. Let's name it, um... Let's name it Diego, because Dialga Diego is a D name, I guess. I don't even know if it's spelled Diego right, but I'm going to spell it this way. Di Daigo. Let's just name it Daigo. Daigo. 
You know, that's, I don't think that's the right way to pronounce, spell Diego, but we're gonna go with it. Yeah, so it was sent to Beeb's BC, okay, cool. That was awesome. Okay, Steven, I, I don't know how... You, you were magnificent, truly, you were incredible. I've lived for 60 years, but I've never been thrilled like this. Since the last time I... Since the last time... Since the last time the professor did a lot of research, he became very concerned about you, Steven. So he came out to place to a place uh, as treacherous as this. Stephen, I'm glad so... I mean, Stephen, I'm so glad that you're safe. Let's go home. Yeah. And then Dawn just takes me home, I guess. But not really. Dawn won't take us home. We'll see in a second. No one has the right to take away anyone's future or anyone's world. Yeah, well said, Professor Rowan. Now, they won't take you back here, but if you go back, you can actually get the Adamant Orb, which raises the power of uh, dragon and steel type moves, I think, for um, Dialga. So it's like a custom item, item, held item for it, but you can also equip it to other Pokemon. Does it raise both uh, steel and dragon type moves? I want to check that real quick. It's at the bottom of my bag, of course. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, bright uh, gleaming orb to be helped by Dialga. It boosts the power of dragon type, dragon and steel type moves. So, I think you, I think you can only give this to Dialga, actually, just like you can only give that stick Pokemon or stick item to Farfetch when you had that Farfetch that can fire the leaf green when you traded it to that one girl in Vermillion City for a um, sparrow. So, yeah. So, let's just, um,. Let's talk to them again, I guess. Steven, I've been looking forward to. S I'm look I'll be looking forward to seeing your Poke your Pokedex. Go wherever you never visited before. That way, you would see Pokemon you haven't s yet seen. You know the Pokemon was. You know that Pokemon was extraordinary, wasn't it? What is it? Was it really the Pokemon that created the Sinnoh region? I don't know, Don. That's a good question. Now, can we use an escape rope right here? Because I just want to get on Mount Cornet. Because I'm sick of having to be in Mount Cornet, honestly. So let me see if I can, uh, you know, use an escape rope here. Of course, it's at the top of my bag, so, you know. So if you go into, um, the my corner, you can actually move back here. So that's good. That's so good. So, um, I guess I want to see if we can finally get Palkia in our Pokedex for a page. So I'm going to fight a Celestic Town. Oh, and by the way, in the Pokemon Center, let's look up a sum uh, Dialga summary. Okay, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. A quirky nature, it's be pure, grad, uh, good endurance, happily eats anything. Cool. Um, it's body pressure, which means that, like, every time you use a Pokemon move against it, it'll use 2 PP of that move instead of just 1. So you're using double your PP per move. So keep that in mind. Okay, attack is 120, defense is 130, special attack is 157, special defense is 105, and speed is 90. So that's crazy special attack, honestly, and good defense too. And it knows Metal Claw, Ancient Powers, Dragon Claw, and Roar of Time, which is a dragon type move actually. It's 150 power by 90% accuracy. Yeah, it's like a big hyper beam though, but for the same type of attack bonus for um, Dialga, or Diego I should say. So let's move um, Rose finally back to um, the party and put back in the PC. And let me rearrange my team actually real quick. So I want to put, yeah, let's put Inferno right there, and then switch to Bronze. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. So I wonder if we go to that one house north of, uh, that's in the north part of Celeste Town, we can finally get the um, recording of pages for Palkia. Pull off. Okay, that's a good time for it to wear off though. <laughs> nice. So let's see in this book. It's an old book. Excuse me, I'm reading it. What? 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 That Pokemon. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, uh, enriching our lives. What that Pokemon, when that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. With the, when that Pokemon was born, what what power became among us, bloomed among us, spurring us into action. No, I don't want to read it all again. Jeez. So I think you have to talk to the um, elder way right here, right here, to get the um, you know the page for Palkia. Yeah, there we go, Palkia. Yeah, nice. I don't care about this dialogue apparently, so that's good. So, um, if I go to my Pokedex and show you guys real quick, um, let me just scroll down, I guess. Okay, all these Pokemon we've seen. 
At least I haven't seen a, a few, even though you can see some blank spots as we're scrolling down through the Pokedex. But now, we got, um, we, we all, if you're playing Pokemon Diamond, you're obviously going to get the recording of, um, Dialga, and you get a chance to catch Dialga too. So, but if you're playing Pearl, you get a chance to see that Palkia, that's three pillar, instead of Dialga. Because they're version exclusives, and then you also get a chance to catch Palkia. But you can also get the other one, depending on which copy you're playing. If you're playing Diamond, you get Palkia like the way I did, but talking to that old elder lady after you capture Dialga, finish up with Spear Pillar. And then you get the, if you're playing Diamond, or if you're playing Pearl, you get the, you know, the page from that same elder lady in Solstic Town. Uh, for, Dial for Dialga, and you get them both in your Pokedex, which is really important because you want to, to complete the Sinnoh decks, really, uh, you want to just always see all the Pokemon in this game, that's how it works, for you get to, for, on how you get the national decks. So we'll get to that later, though, that's like after game stuff, which I will, won't be covering much of the after game at all, to be honest, as I said before. So that's a bummer, yeah, I guess. Um, let me see here, I always like, the next thing I like doing is, uh, <laughs> Karen's the one who can fly, jeez. I always like going after Azel first and capturing Azel. So let me do that. So yeah, um, I already killed one Pokemon, that's good. But I want to also um, stock up on some Ultra Balls and stuff. And possibly Dusk Balls. Well, I'll try not to use Dusk Balls on the, um, the, um, the Lake Pokemon, the Lake Pokemon, but... I don't know, maybe I can try to be like with an Ultra Ball or something. Because I don't really want to go back to Slayson Town, unless this is the town that actually sells Dusk Balls. So Pokeballs, let's buy like 5 more I guess. Let's buy 2 more to make it 20, an even 20. There we go. Nice. So 20 Pokeballs. How many Great Balls? Let's buy like... Let's buy like... 11 Great Balls I guess. And let's buy, let's buy like 11 more Ultra Balls. That should do it. Um, do you have so, do you happen to sell Dusk Balls at the other side of the counter? Do you, do you, do you? Oh, Quick Balls, nice. Quick Balls are good. Let's buy like, um, six. And Dusk Balls, yeah, let's buy like, um, 11, I guess. Why not? Just spend all our money in one place, you know? Okay. I probably don't need all those Pokeballs, but it's better to be safe than sorry. It's better to have them than not have to worry about not having them or ha not having them at all. I totally miss. I totally just um, you know, miss said that this whole saying wrong. You know, so um, I'm gonna keep Rose up front, I guess. Yeah, Rose could be good, I guess. Yeah. So, um, I'll end the part right here, so this has this, this been another Pokemon Diamond Video Walkthrough Guide part. The next part, we'll take it and go after, um, Azelf, the first of the three like Pokemon. So, the, so yeah, that's been Janko again. I would like to thank for watching again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of Pokemon Diamond Video Walkthrough Guide.